Hey YouTube, this is Bill. Uh, today I'm gonna to introduce another portable column array system. On the right, we have the Fishman SA330X. Uh, it did replace the previous model, which was out for many years, called the SA220. Fishman is a well-known brand for acoustic guitarist. It's very portable. Uh, the column itself is only 25 pounds. It comes with the stand, you see comes with a nice heavy duty bag. So like I said, it's been around for a while. On the left, I'm pairing it up. This does not come with it. I'm pairing it up with one of my favorites, the Bose Sub One. And I tried it today for the first time, pairing these two up, and it was a really nice combination. The Fishman doesn't have a lot of low end by itself, but when you add the Sub One, it really makes it into a full range uh, very nice sounding system. So, very highly recommended. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to recommend this for people who, who have either or. So if you have the Fishman and you're looking for the low end, the Sub 1 is just, uh, you can't go wrong. And I definitely recommend the Sub 1 way over the Fishman Sub, I think it's called the Sub 300 that's made for this column. The, this, the Bose is a much more powerful unit, but it is more expensive. And then um, if you already have the Fishman, you can go with this subwoofer or the other way around. If you have the Sub 1 already and you don't really wanna buy another column array system, you might be looking at the Fishman. So it's very modular. Um, if you're playing a small gig or it's a mainly acoustic, you can leave the Sub 1 at home or you can bring both to the larger gigs. I wanna have a shout out for Fishman. They just have um, incredibly good customer service. I, on my SA220, uh, I had lost the bag. So I called up Fishman and I asked if they still met, you know, have a replacement bag for sale. And the gentleman I talked to was named Derek. I think he's in charge of technical support. He sent me a new bag for free. And that bag is a nice heavy duty bag. I'm sure it's at least 30 to $40. So I, I'm really, really um, impressed with their customer support. The only downside I'm gonna mention is the Fishman. It's 300 watts. You know, it's not, you can't compare it to, to the new syst, PA systems out on the market that, that are running 1,000 watts, 2,000 watts like QSE. But, um, it gets loud, but it's 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 not something that's gonna fill a huge space. It maxes out at 113 dB. Just to give you an idea, the um, Bose S1 Pro is 103 dB, so this is 10 dB more, which is quite a bit, but it's not quite up there uh, with your other column arrays that uh, come all together. Those are usually about 124 dB, and my C QSC CP8 is also 124 dB. So that's the only downside I'm gonna think of of this system, and that is it's not the loudest out there. So keep that in mind if that's what you need. It's a one cable connection from the monitor out on the Fishman into line one on the sub one. It's the only dealing with um, one cable. And the subwoofer, which is very, very powerful, it integrates really well, as you see on the gain, 10 o'clock. If I pushed it up to 11, it was a little too much overpowering the column. So this system really has a lot of headroom as far as bass. On uh, one more negative or downside that I wanna point out, and that is the Sub 1 has the ability to be lay, laid flat on its side and you can mount a pole and a speaker of, over the pole on the sub one. Unfortunately, on um, the boat, the, the fishmen, I don't know why they did this, they use their own size um, pole socket. So your normal pole will not work with the fishmen. They, you need their own pole that goes with their sub. So that's kind of a downside. So this is probably the best way to set it up with the subwoofer on one side and the SA330 on the on its own stand. Okay, let's talk about some prices. Sub one, $900 at this time. 
The Fishman SA330 is 850. So you add the math, you have 1750 for the system. So the closest system I can think of would be the Bose Pro 16. This system uh, would outperform the Bose Pro 8, especially that sub one. So I'm looking at the Pro 16, which is $150 more at $1,900. That has 124 dB. Everything is in one unit. You don't have to carry two separate units. But like I said, in some, some instances, this would actually be the advantage if you don't need a sub. So that, was, that would probably be my choice over this particular system. Go with the Bose Pro 16. But for 1,750, this is a very compact system. Column array with an excellent subwoofer, and it really sounds good. I'm not going to do a sound demo today. You have to take my word for it. It sounds good, and like I said, it's, it's for people who might have one or the other. I don't see a lot of people running out to buy these two as a pair. Okay, this is Bill. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you at the next video. Later.